you or your glove compartment or purse get powerful enough to incapacitate an attacker. Guns and even pepper spray carry unnecessary risks. Taser products are safer and easy to use. They use an electrical charge to immobilize attackers for up to 30 seconds, allowing you time to escape. And send emergency dispatch to your GPS location. Protect yourself and your family with Taser's line of smart self-defense products. Taser is available without a permit in most U.S. states. Get the Taser Pulse Plus or Taser Strike Light at Taser.com with promo code MSNBC. Save 15% now at Taser.com promo code MSNBC. Spell T-A-S-E-R dot com promo code MSNBC. Restrictions apply. See site for details. Looking to impress that special someone at the top of your list? We think pearls are the perfect choice. We're the pearl source, and we'll help you find a gift she'll absolutely love. We make the world's finest pearl jewelry by hand in-house so that you get classic quality designs without the crazy markups of conventional jewelry stores. Every order includes free two-day shipping, a 60-day money-back guarantee, plus an exclusive 20% off with code SiriusXM. Visit our website, thepearlsource.com, and find a gift that'll make her glow. I am Robert Strickler. My wife Joyce and I have been married for 53 years. We have been blessed with six children. I've been taking Prevagen for at least eight years. Prevagen seems to help me recall things and also think more clearly. And I enthusiastically recommend Prevagen. It has helped me an awful lot. Prevagen, healthier brain, better life. Now available in stores everywhere. Robert Strickler is a content contributor for Prevagen and real user. One in every six renters is behind in rent. One in four small businesses can't keep the doors open. And there's a growing gap in black and Latino unemployment, and the gap remains much too large. That is President-elect Joe Biden in a speech on the latest jobs report, urging Congress and President Trump to act immediately on a COVID relief package. Biden is predicting a grim economic future as numbers of coronavirus cases, hospitalizations, and
me about, but really, there is a clock that's ticking on these negotiations, and millions of Americans can be impacted if Congress doesn't act, and then if Joe Biden isn't able to reach across the aisle and continue to negotiate in a bipartisan way going forward on this as he deals with both the pandemic and the economic realities, Ali. Yeah, you're 100% giving us the reality. Thank you, Ali, for that. Joining me now, Austin Goolsby, former chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors in the Obama administration and professor at the University of Chicago Booth School of Business. Uh, welcome, Austin. It's good to see you. First, your reaction to yesterday's jobs report and Joe Biden's plans for reviving the economy. What do you think? Well, thanks for having me back, Alex. Uh, I thought the jobs report yesterday was seriously disappointing and a little bit scary. And it, boy, boy, but it wasn't unexpected in the sense that the virus is the boss. We're talking about how we control the virus. That's the same thing as how do you help the economy. That's the number one rule of virus economics. As I always say, you want to help the economy, you've got to stop the spread of the virus. And so what we've seen is we had a catastrophic collapse in the spring. It was bouncing back at a pretty rapid rate, and it's apparently fully stalled out. And so if, if we continue at the rate of job creation we had last month, we would be more than three years before we even get back to where we were before this started. And if it keeps slowing at the rate we just saw last month, we would never get back. So I think the president-elect is saying all the right things. He's trying to do what we need to do, which is A, control the virus, B, get relief to people until the vaccine is ready, that we're not going to get thrown out of our homes, and we're not going to see our local restaurants and dry cleaners and, and all those small businesses shut down. And I think this is grafted onto a familiar thing with an incumbent president leaving. This happened in 1932, this happened in 2008. The sitting president doesn't want to be there anymore. And he's just kind of writing it off and, and sending it in. I mean, the, the fact that we don't have a detailed rollout plan for distribution of the vaccine and that we have apparently just given up on the task force coming up with a plan to fight the virus, that's bad economics as well as bad public health. Yeah. Is there something Joe Biden can do in terms of economic policy on day one? Yes. I mean, part of it depends on what happens in the Georgia Senate race, obviously. Yeah. And part of it, he might be able to do before day one, you know, in these in these kabuki negotiations where there's a president-elect working through uh, Democrats in the Congress. I do think that the, the president-elect is totally right. This is not, this virus's damage on the economy is absolutely not restricted to just blue places or just cities or just anything. It's hitting everyone, and there is going to be motivation to provide relief. As for can you restart the engine as opposed to just providing relief, there, no, not really. You know, there uh, on day one, there are a bunch of things you can do to start it in motion, but you've got to get control of the spread of the virus before the economy can come back. The good news is many other countries have done that. If you look at Australia, New Zealand, Korea, Japan, they're places where they, they've shown you, you get control of the virus, the economy wants to bounce back. This isn't like a regular recession. It does not include a $1,200 stimulus check, as we saw earlier in the spring. Is that a problem? I think it's a bit of a problem. It'd be better if it included that check. Now, I know everyone keeps adding the word stimulus, but I just want to emphasize this isn't regular stimulus. Normal stimulus is we give money and we want you to go spend it or we're trying to jumpstart economic growth. Hmm. What we are at, we're not to that point. We're in purely relief. This is to help people from getting evicted. A $1,200 to everyone I think would be a good idea. If they can't do that, they've got to get money. They've got to get mm -hmm. enough relief money to prevent permanent damage from what is going to be a temporary yeah. shock.
Yeah. And and so far they're not doing it. Yeah, you're exactly right. It should be called just a relief check. Um, let me ask you about something we've been seeing, which is in this economic crisis, the increasing Wall Street, Main Street divide. You got Wall Street booming. Working class and lower income in Americans increasingly suffering. Is there a policy that could lift those working class Americans without damaging the stock market? That's an interesting point. I mean, never, you, you always hear the stock market is not the economy. And that it, nowhere has that ever been proved more true than during COVID. Mm -hmm. So the biggest corporations, the highest income people, they didn't even really have a recession. I mean, the, the wealth of the top 100 billionaires went up almost a trillion dollars since the since COVID began. So you can see how some segment of the economy would be doing well while most people and millions of workers are not. I think direct relief that goes to individuals is the way to do that. And that won't hurt the stock market. That will help the stock market over the medium and long run because stocks in our businesses can only be as successful in the long run as the people are. I mean, the, uh, it is the middle class spending and middle class consumer economy that's something like three quarters of the U.S. GDP. So in the short run, they may be thrilled by big tax cuts uh, to high income people. Mm -hmm. But over the beyond just the short run, there has to be a stable, strong middle class in this country. And f for that to exist, there needs to be relief right now for the, for those people, those workers, mm -hmm. and for small businesses who are not, who don't have a publicly traded stock. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I can't tell you how much I'd love to take a class from you from the Booth School of Business, but I'll take this uh, interview as the next best thing. Thank you very much, Austin Goolsby. Great Appreciate to see it. you. In a matter of minutes, I'll be talking with Mehdi Hassan about one brutal pandemic truth, and that has to do with the economy. You've had enough to deal with this year, so don't overthink your holiday gifts. Since we've all been living in our sweatpants anyway, it's time for some pro-level Tommy John loungewear. I'm Erin Fujimoto, co-founder of Tommy John, and this year we're making sure you can give the gift of comfort to everyone on your list and yourself with Tommy John men's and women's loungewear. Say goodbye to old stained sweatpants. Tommy John loungewear is luxuriously soft and guaranteed to fit perfectly with the same level of comfort and innovation that goes into everything we make. Plus, our loungewear, pajamas, and underwear come in limited edition prints, perfect for gifting, but they sell out quick, so order soon. And there's no risk with Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear or its free guarantee. Order now. Go to TommyJohn.com slash comfort for $20 off site-wide for a limited time only. Get $20 off for a limited time at TommyJohn.com slash comfort. TommyJohn.com slash comfort. See site for details. If you're fighting joint and muscle pain with bags of supplements and fish oil, you could be wasting your money. To explain, here's Omega XL Medical Director, Dr. Sharon McQuillan. The key to fighting joint and muscle pain is to treat the underlying, far more serious problem, inflammation. Left untreated, inflammation can cause permanent joint damage and lead to other serious health problems. With over 30 years of research, Omega XL is the safest and most effective supplement I've found to treat stiff, painful joints and muscles. I take Omega XL, and I strongly recommend it to my patients. Get doctor-recommended relief from painful, stiff joints and muscles. Switch from your supplements, fish oil, and topicals to Omega XL and feel the difference. Order now and get your second bottle free. Yeah, free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash XL for more information. Or call 1-800-844-4888. 1-800-844-4888.